The revitalization of Toronto's waterfront is the largest urban redevelopment project currently underway in North America, and it is also one of the largest waterfront revitalization efforts ever undertaken in the world. Waterfront Toronto is a joint venture by the Federal, Provincial, and the City of Toronto governments. Deep Roots Silvacell, a system for growing large, mature trees and managing stormwater on site in the built environment, is being used on all public realm sites in the central waterfront and West Donlands development areas. This includes Queen's Quay, East Bayfront Dockside, East Bayfront Bayside, Sugar Beach, and the West Donlands. The construction of Sugar Beach began in the fall of 2009, and the site officially opened in August 2010. Design firms Claude Cormier and the planning partnership specified the silver cells at the Sugar Beach site in order to achieve the City of Toronto's soil volume standards for street trees. In order to realize their vision of large mature trees and the associated canopy aesthetics, they needed to find a solution that would provide significant volumes of uncompacted soil for long-term tree growth. There are 33 maples at Sugar Beach with a mix of Marmo, Jeffers Red and Autumn Blaze. The designers opted for a two-layer deep silvicell system because of the high water table. Each of the trees has access to over 35 cubic meters or 1,236 cubic feet of soil in the silvicells. There is 300 millimeters or one foot of aggregate cover over top of the silvicell decks and sandset pavers at the surface. Deep Root is involved with contributing to two of Waterfront Toronto's ambitious goals making the water's edge along Lake Ontario an accessible public amenity and creating a more sustainable built environment through improved water quality, reducing flooding and bringing a green presence to parks, streets and other public areas. As these trees mature, they will create a lush canopy over the plaza for those who wish to escape from the heat of the beach and relax in the cool shade. It will also serve as an enduring reminder of the City of Toronto's commitment to their urban forest.